Yes, sir. We have another first time reaction, baby. Uh huh. Y'all saw the title. Yes, sir. And I'm super excited about this one. So, um, y'all requested this one as always. And hey, you DM me and you. You hit me up in the comments below. You DM me over there at Instagram at Famaka TV. Don't forget to follow me over there. Also at Twitter, Famaka TV. And subscribe. That's part of the giveaway of the 10K. You got to do those three things. And the fourth thing, you have to show up for the live. So let's get into this, baby. Today, 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 to baby, baby. <laughs> I'm super excited. Y'all requested this bad boy right here, Samson. This is my first time reacting to him. And it's 46 equals 13 is the name of this song. It says on the screen, chances are you feel the same way I do. So let's find out. If we feel the same way he does, y'all already know because y'all requested it. So I'm assuming y'all already know and y'all agree with what he's saying, but I don't know. So let's get into this thing like a chicken wing. Eat that big chicken wing. Let's go. <sighs> I love high gas prices. I love whoa, 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 whoa. Did he say he love hot guy at gas prices? Hold on, hold on. <sighs> I love high gas prices. I love pay Yeah, that's what he said. Paying more for groceries, and I really love seeing taxes rise. It's so good knowing that I'm giving more, but receiving less. It makes me feel humble, but I'm gonna stop with the sarcasm right there, because I swear we're living in a real jungle. It's what? Pretty simple to me, though. <laughs> you hear that beat coming there, that bass? Oh my goodness. Oh, this is about five and a half minutes long, y'all. But I'm just all in tune right here. Let's stop go. with the sarcasm right there, because I swear we're living in a real jungle. Oh, he being sarcastic now. Okay, Samson. Jungle, it's what? Pretty simple to me, though. It's way past being left or right. Just use your head and common sense and think about how you've been affected in daily life. Is it easier or is it harder? That's the most important question you should think of first. Because life is a bitch already as it is, and you don't need someone that's going to make it worse. Ask me? Huh, I think we're fucked. Don't give me that look. <laughs> Everything sucks. Have you gone outside? Have you been to the store? Have you compared the prices to a year before? The Man, I have compared the prices from a year before. Do you not hear what I'm saying? Everything is going up except the paychecks. Do you not understand what I'm saying? Everything. You can't even buy a bag of chips for under a dollar anymore. Everything has skyrocketed. Do you not understand? I you drive a car, have you so pumped gas? Yes. Don't lie to me now, it sucks ass. You can brush it off like it's a fucking joke, but the media lies, numbers don't. Well, you can't play Biden, it isn't him. Well, who the fuck is it then? What <laughs> jacked up the prices? I want to know why I spend so much up at... Hello, hello, hello. And y'all also, the Anna P is, is the one who requested this particular song right here. And she let me know that 46 stands for Biden being the 46th president. And 13 represents the 13 soldiers that were killed in Afghanistan. Let's continue. Conoco, I don't know. I think it's insane that the leader of the country gets no blame because the whole entire time, the last four years, it was cheap as fuck. I'm just saying, now watch. Down Woo! in the comment section, someone's gonna give us an economy lesson. I can't <laughs> wait to hear your expert analysis on fluctuation and how expenses balance. Hey, it's all a part of the process. What the hell are you bitching for? It's fine. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the 16 cents that I saved on hot dogs for 4th of July. What a fucking... <laughs> Whoa! Oh my goodness! 
He is dangerous. Fine. Oh yeah, I forgot about the 16 cents that I saved on hot dogs for 4th of July. What a fucking steal. Too bad I spent more on gas just to get to Target. So by the time I got done buying all the shit and filling up my car, I had way less than when I started. Now, Come I don't on. really call that saving. No. no, I call that losing money. It doesn't take a genius to do simple math, but apparently you can't, so who's the dummy? Probably still me. Mm. I'm just pissed off. This inflation's From fucked which, up. I'm right here. I'm right with you. The inflation is... Effed up, fucked up. I'm pissed off right along with you, Simpson. Come on, bring it, bring it. But I gotta sit here and act like I love this administration with a thumbs up? Stupid. Everything is hell, but you act like I'm supposed to be in heaven. You know our country ain't doing too good when the Waffle Houses start to close at 11. Dude, <laughs> <and you> barely... <laughs> right, right. Everything closing at 11. Now, oh man, I... I Man, he is on point right here. Talk and don't act like I'm being overzealous. Every time the man speaks, I have no fucking clue what he's trying to tell us. Nope. Every speech is like a gag reel. Every time I see the shit, I'm like, is that real? Oh, considering the fact <laughs> that the only other option was Trump, I don't think it's such a bad deal. <laughs> Fuck that. I want a strong leader. The strength of a man should be constantly tested, especially when you're in the most powerful position in the world. That should be not even a question. No. There's really not enough words that can describe the craziness we're facing, dude. But the crazier part is there's still people you need to sit down and really explain. This too. Come on, man. Just watch a press conference. You'll see the joke was all gone. He literally says out loud that he has a list of people he's supposed to call on. And even then he mm. fucks that up. The whole thing is hella awkward. COVID-19 ain't his biggest enemy. What is it? It's the goddamn teleprompter. It feels like we don't even have a leader. Nope. It's like we're all just following blindly. Each of my grandparents could run circles around him in a debate and they're almost 90. Look at him. Don't take it from me. Go listen to him. It's not a rumor. You gotta, I mean, the... T -t 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 Today, Junior! Jesus Christ, go on YouTube and click any video of Joe Biden and check mm. out the like and the dislike ratios. That should prove to you that no one likes him. I don't agree with anything he's done. His decisions affect me in many ways. If it was up to me, I'd rather have mean tweets and cheap gas any day. I don't like Biden. What good's he done for us? I think Afghanistan... Man! Man, that... Oh, wow. That first part, that first half is on fire bro let's see this second bro pretty much sums it up what a dumb adult my stomach does somersaults when i think about those 13 soldiers that were killed the fucking gall then he goes to the service and keeps checking his watch like he has somewhere better to be i swear the disrespect doesn't stop pick your fucking mm. head up look at the women and men you killed i don't understand how anyone could even defend you still and if they wow. do they either don't know what they're talking about or they're lying to themselves because they know damn well you're a problem now pulling out was a good choice not the way you did it though Kamala's probably sitting there like, oh my god, we did it, Joe. Speaking of her, where she been through all these deadly days? As soon as shit erupts and hits the fan, Kamala's MIA. Not like she does anything anyway. So fucking useless. Law and order, crisis at the border. She don't fucking do shit. Just a talking head, paired up with the walking dead. Breaking absolutely every word that was promised or said. Every time I see their faces on TV, it's such a bummer. I feel like I'm watching the third installment of Dumb and Dumber. And on top of all that, they Come put on. another ban on ammo, trying to decide arm americans but equip the taliban like rambo you give them hundreds of thousands of military guns but americans just trying to protect their families are the scary ones come on oh my god dude is cutting up right here i'm telling you them hundreds of thousands of military guns but americans just trying to protect their families are the scary ones you put more trust in a terrorist organization than you do in your own people you don't care about this nation fuck you that's for yeah. me fuck you that's from them fuck you from everyone that's still stuck in afghanistan fuck you from yeah. the men and women who died for this country and fuck you for every time you lie to cover up something you blame this on trump how the fuck is this even his fault you're in charge now not exactly him. exactly come on it like it is man it's just your default whenever something goes wrong you flip and say he did it but whenever something goes right you're quick to take the credit you undid almost all of trump's agreements by your second day so why is this one of the only fucking things you left in place no crosses to bear no responsibilities just chocolate chocolate chip to ease your mental instability i would say the blood's on your hands but that's a lie because you don't even know where the fuck you are half the time Whoa. Whoa. Yo. This man right here, this young man right here is not a joke. 
Do you not understand what I'm saying? Man. Man, I, I, I've lost the words because I agree with every single word he said right to the end. From the beginning to the end. Now, it, let me know down in the comments how you feel about this one. I know a lot of you already have seen him because y'all requested this. But let me know down in the comments how you feel if this is your first time seeing it just like me. Annie, Anna P, thank you so much for this one. We need this right here. Yo, this is for Market TV signing off. Peace and I'm out.